Hey Sue, uh, listen, I just got back from with the pool guy, and uh, the problem, the, the biggest problem that that pool is having now is that there's sand completely around the whole cage and dirt, you know, there's no grass that's grown there. It's like almost like play sand, it's so sandy, like beach sand. And, and, I mean, you could vacuum that pool, and the next day, it'll be full of sand again, because when the wind blows, it just blows it right through the screen, okay? And when the, screw, the, the uh, cage was put in, it should have had a 12-inch or an 18-inch kick plate put around there like a barrier. But probably the cheapest way to go with that is to put privacy glass it's like a screen that has a plastic coating on it that nothing can get through and you can't you know it's kind of like dull that you really can't see through it so that would probably be the cheapest way to go to put that privacy glass around that two and a half or thirty inch section where the pole comes and I'm gonna take this video camera over there and I'm gonna show you and I also want to show you what how your management company had this house set up for before your tenant that these tenants move in because when I was there again today and every week when I go there they are compl they're very nice people but they're complaining about they don't even want to sit out in the backyard and that's why they came down there they got a pool and a, and a backyard to sit in I'm going to show you this when I go when I when I go over there also, uh, your front lawn is burning out again. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm not figuring out why. So, I said to the guy, I said, hey, can I go in the garage and look at your sprinkler system? So, he goes, oh, let me show you that. So, he takes me out there, and there's a note on it with Pam and Wayne's card on it that says, hey, the sprinkler has been running for the last two days. Do not use the sprinkler till it's repaired. So I said to him, I said, how long has this been on here? He said, from before we moved in. I said, holy shit. So now you're, uh, you haven't had sprinklers working for over five weeks now. Okay? And apparently, they're not taking care of it for you. And you know what? I'm sure that Ian saw this when he was at the house. And he didn't do nothing about it either. And he saw the way the backyard looks. And he didn't do anything about that either. Okay? Uh, I'm going to go there with this video camera. I'm going to videotape all of this. I'm going to show you all of the trees and all of the stuff that needs to be removed. Okay? To start to help out with this problem with your pool. Because what's happening is, is all of the stuff that's going in the pool is changing the chemicals in it. It's, it's, it's just messing up the whole balance of the pool. This sand is just blowing back into the pool. Well, in any event, with the pool, the guy says it's going to take him three months to get your pool back in line and working properly with proper chemical and treatment. Okay? And that's going to cost $80 a month. And either you could pay for it up front or you could pay for it monthly. Okay? <coughs> so I told him yes. Start next week, a week from today. So, uh, you know, so that's going to be up to you now to give me the okay on that or not. And and like I said, I'm going to go there. I'm going to videotape this stuff. I'm going to show you all the things at the house that I'm sure Ian saw when he was there and, and uh, uh, neglected to make an arrangement or try to even have anyone do anything about it you know and uh, your managed company is a is, is to blame for uh, all of this stuff if you're telling them that this stuff is going on and they're not taking care of it especially your lawn and your sprinkler system again okay so I'm going to videotape it next and then you'll see that okay Sue so I'm here and I want to show you first the, this whole part of the lawn here is starting to get brown now. Okay, 
I did not know the sprinklers weren't working. Okay. Let me get the front of the house here while I'm here. The gutters here are hanging. Okay, that's the front. Now I'm gonna walk around towards the uh, pool pump and the entrance. Okay, and you can start to hear it. There's definitely a bearing out in that motor from when yet the, there was the leak in the pool and it was running dry. You remember when I was telling you that? When we had that fixed? Hear it? on the screen. Now this is what I'm talking about with that sand. All of this sand here and look on the inside of the cage. That's all black mildew. And then all of this sand Look at that. These people moved in that had it this way and I'm sure Pam and Ian saw this, and I've been telling you about this also. Okay? It's all through here, okay? Now here, look. This tree needs to be trimmed that's hanging over the cage. It's one. These trees need to be trimmed cut away from the tree. That's two. Now I got a guy now. Look at all of this mildew on the cage here. Okay, well, I have a guy that'll do this cheaper than what Pam's gonna charge you. I, I can guarantee you that. You know. That all needs to be trimmed away. Okay, let's go inside here. Okay. Okay, for one, take a look at the... It's just rusting away. Okay. This is just terrible. I don't know if you could see up there, but you got stuff that's growing out of the gutters. Stuff just growing out of the gutters. Okay, this is bad here now. This is really bad. This here is all rotting away. Look at it. This was a problem when you had the cage put in. And the guy, the guy came and fixed this part of it over here. Back when the cage was... I first originally put in when you first moved in, but it's rotting away all in here now. You see that wood? That's all wet and soaked wood. And you see that black there? That's moisture on top of the ceiling. Okay, now I'm sure Ian saw this also. Look at this. It's just really awful whoops 
It's a shame to let this house fall apart like this. And then look at the ceiling. Remember back when I told you a couple, a year and a half ago, that this needed to be repaired and then she had the guy come and he just sprayed a patch on it. He really, it really wasn't taken care of. But look at this, it's all falling down. Okay. This has to be thrown away, this stuff. This is starting to all rot away. This really shouldn't be outside here. Okay. And then check this out. This is just deteriorating. I don't know if you can see this or not. Look at this. Just awful. Okay. And again, what I'm trying to explain to you is, oh, let me show you the pool here now. Okay, pool's clear, clean. But you see all of this on the bottom? This is all being shot back into the pool. It's all that fine sand. See it? When it rains, it just splatters in here. Okay? All of the sand comes in here. See it? And when the wind blows, it just blows it right into the pool and a lot of this fine sand goes right through the filter so the guy told me that when this fan, this sand keeps go hitting that filter and going through it ruins the filter so you may need a new filter also okay and also all of this in the pool changes the chemicals in the pool which uh, chlorine and alkalinity isn't going to help. So what he, what he needs to do is come in with all other chemicals, come in once a week for the next three months to get this pool back in shape. And like I said, he... he he will give me the bills and I will send them to you. But you see this here? Look at this. I don't know if you can see this on this screen. But this whole tree needs to be cut back. That tree needs to be cut back. Look at it. It's hanging over the cage. Loaded with leaves. Okay? I just want to show you this because... You know, it has to be taken care of. Once again. Okay, now the suggestion that I have is, see here, you put a kick plate that goes across here 18 inches high. 18 inches down that'll eliminate it but then they got to put bars here and across and then the aluminum and everything to do that job which is expensive but what they can do here is use this pole come up these 30 inches here to this pole here from from here to here 
and this screen here can be replaced with what they call privacy screen and then all you have to do is get this screen and have that put on okay which is a lot cheaper than having the construction of a kick plate put in and it'll eliminate anything blowing up through this screen to here which will will be 80% of the battle with this pool okay the other 20% of the trees here so this is what I wanted to show you okay oh the big thing I'm gonna turn this off and knock on the door and show you what they, the note she has on the uh, sprinkler system okay coming over to the sprinkler thing here and there's the note okay I don't know if you could read it the sprinkler has the sprinklers have been running for two days the sprinklers have been running for two days please do not use until it is fixed and let us know if you know what the problem okay now I don't come in here so this is I don't understand this so they put this note on here and they were expecting the people that live here to, to take care of this I don't understand I don't understand what this is okay so you know what I don't think that they are really doing what they're supposed to be doing for you they're letting your house run down I'm sure Ian saw this because this was five weeks ago so I'm sure Ian saw this also so you know no one no one's taking care of this place for you okay so uh, if you want I can get people to come in and do this this other stuff I was here with the pool guy for like two and a half hours this morning so uh, sorting this thing out so uh, let the, let me know you know because I'm sure to help you out for sure but again is that I can't do it I got to get people to do it for you so uh, let me know, okay?